I read the other day that a uh, well-regarded official in the Department of Justice was leaving his very important office to find a, a beautiful corner room for him and a very large law firm that needed a new partner. He was going to be the white-collar criminal specialist. And I thought to myself, what a curious thing that every time a guy leaves a, an important position in the government, he finds welcome arms in a law firm. You see, being a prosecutor is not the same as being a white-collar criminal defense lawyer. The skill set's not the same. When's the last time he went through a really bad cross-examination? When's the last time he had to do a case without the FBI at his side? These aren't the skills that one needs in order to work for uh, a corporation or a corporate officer in order to defend them against accusations. But then, that's not really what they're there for. In big law, I understand how well a title of a former official goes when trying to sell your wares. It's certainly great to tell a corporate counsel this is a guy who used to be the deputy chief of the criminal division of the U.S. Attorney's Office. It's very impressive. I'm impressed, impressed just saying it. At the same time, his skills in being an administrator in the government are not the skills that you're going to want to represent that client. Well, it's not going to matter to you because the client's going to be told that he can't win anyway, that nobody ever wins. And the only real skill you're looking for out of this new white collar specialist is the ability to find the shortest path to the U.S. Attorney's Office where cooperation can begin. Consider once in a while, however, that your client may not want to be guilty. Consider that your client may occasionally want to challenge the government. Maybe they did nothing wrong. It could happen. Are you prepared for that? Is the guy whose entire career based on prosecuting people, on finding fault, on believing in the efficacy of the government, going to be the person with the skills to say, absolutely not, I refuse, I'm ready to go to trial, I'm ready to defend my client? He's never done that in his life. He's not going to start doing that now. You know it. Maybe your client doesn't, but he should. What you might want to consider doing is instead of seeking people who've got fancy titles that the government hands out, have a skill set, a competence, in order to defend those people, whether they're corporations or whether they're officers, so that every once in a while, when you get an innocent guy, when you get a corporation that didn't actually do anything wrong, maybe you could be in a position where you could say, we can defend you and we're willing to fight. We have the ability to fight. Not everybody's guilty. Not everybody loses. Not everybody needs to rush down to the government office and turn themselves in. The problem you need to cure is to have the people on hand who have the will and the skill to make that fight, to give their client a chance to win. Every once in a while, you might find they want to. You might find they like it. You might find that you could win. Give it some thought. Maybe the title's not worth everything. Maybe you want some skills once in a while.